Student lessons can be given in two modes, student pace or live pace lessons. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the teach button and you can select your two teaching options. The first teaching option is live participation. This is when you control the pace of the lesson using your device and the students respond to the questions on their device. The next one would be student pace. Student pace will allow the students to complete their assignments on their own. With either, if you click, it will generate a code. For this example, I'm going to use student pace and it will generate a code here for the students. The um, options here are to adjust the expiration date of the code. So for all the way through November the 21st, 2024. By clicking on the calendar here, I can adjust those dates where my students can either turn it in the following day or I can extend it out for the week. Once doing that, I can click on apply changes and that date will change from the 22nd until the 25th and it will give them a countdown of the days remaining. Another option in the student pace mode is it will require students to respond and not skip through the lesson. Um, this is an option that can be turned off or on. And if they're doing a student paced lesson, it's my suggestion to turn it on. So that again, we're gonna prevent skipping and we're gonna require the students to respond, to respond to the questions. The other option is when clicking teach is to do a live participation lesson. When students are doing a live participation lesson, you are able to control the lesson at your own pace on your device. It will again generate a code, but it will give you several options here that are just for live participation um, lessons. So for example, the hand raising feature and student reactions are two options that you can turn on or off for the students. With hand raising, uh, students are able to um, raise their hand if they have any questions or would like to offer to the conversation verbally rather than on the device. And student reactions will allow them to react to their peers, comments, commentary, or discussions. If you are using a Zoom meeting, if you wanted to launch it via Zoom, you can create a Zoom here and the students can engage virtually while you're controlling the screen. And then the co-teacher link will allow you to create a link for your co-teacher in your classroom so that they are also in charge of the lesson um, and the control and the pace of the lesson. And you can turn that on or off. Once it's on, you will copy that link and send it to your co-teacher. Students who are joining this lesson will use the join Nearpod code. And once they're into the lesson, they're able to um, move along the lesson or they'll be directed to move along the lesson at your pace. There is an option to where you can allow students to move a little bit ahead based on the slides that you set. And that's just another option setting. But for the most part, the live participation will allow you to control the pace of the lesson in the screen. So I'm going to see if I can switch screens so that you can see how it works or the view of a student when they're engaged in the student participation mode. I'm sorry, the live participation mode. So at the top of the screen, um, this is the lesson that the students are engaged in. Remember, if the student enters late, that code is here and available for them throughout the lesson. The directions are here. It's talking about the three branches of government, and this activity is a drag and drop. Once the students have read the instructions, they can click up here and it will allow the entire um, template to be seen. This is our student view. If you wanted to see it as a teacher, the teacher view will show us that we have students currently right now that are in the lesson and they can't move ahead. They're right here. So I am going to on the other side just show how these things can be moved and you can actually see the progress of the student over here as the cards are being moved around. You can also tell if a student needs any type of assistance, if they're confused about anything, you can actually see um, their progress. As a teacher, I can enhance this and make it larger so that I can see if they're really understanding what's going on. Right now, I see that my student is having a little bit of trouble with the three branches of government. He's not sure of where he should be 
you know, placing these different things or um, where the vice president stands, the justices and those things, I can actually stop and assist him. He can't go on to his next slide because, again, I have pace of the lesson. And because I have pace of the lesson, I can see that he is in progress right now. And I can also give him immediate feedback. I might tell him right here, let's look at that one. Or I can tell him where to move things over and, you know, think about it. I can also add him a sticker if I feel like he's doing a great job because I am in control of this lesson. If I want to hide the feedback, I can just click on that and that feedback is gone. Um, again, in this mode, I can also with this share it with the class. So if he is doing an excellent job with what he did, I can share out with the class. I can share the student's work or I can share the student's work with the feedback. So if I notice that a lot of students are getting confused with a particular area and I've placed that feedback there, I may want to show the feedback to the students so that they can know, um, you know, if they're having the same issue, how to move this around. Another great option is here. Um, again, we can unshare that so that the, the class cannot see. And I'm going to share it with the class again so that you can see what it will look like. I'm going to toggle back to the student and the teacher. Another uh, good option is to add a grade here. You can approve it. Let, their, let the students know that they're doing a great job. Um, another thing I can do is I can let the students know that I have some questions about what's going on with their work. And if I see that they're really struggling, I can let the students know that there are still things to work on. You're not done yet. Um, I can leave it here. And so that grade will pop up here. And on the student side, it will give them a message that says your teacher has graded activity. Check your results below or see the notes after class. And then if they looked at the notes, it will give them, you know, a code that tells them whether or not they're doing a good job. You can also go back in and change it as well. And once they're done, you can click approve and then they're ready to, you know, be done and turn that, that in. So this is how it works on the live participation mode. When the students are working in a student participation mode, they can work at their own pace. You can go in and see their progress. Um, you can go in and give them the feedback, but just know that they will be working at their own pace or based on the deadline that you have set.